Hi everybody, uh, I'm Defex and in this video I'll show you how to make a, a very very nice uh, kick drum in in FL Studio. At least I like it very much. Uh, I will use two kick drums uh, for this tutorial, but you can use more if you want. But you need at least two. And this technique consists of uh, having a sub kick that plays uh, on a very low volume and have some effects uh, one of them is the stereo enhancer so let's start with this as I say you need two kick drums one for the for the main kick and the other one I called it sub kick because it's just low frequencies on it so on the main kick it sound it's a very clean sound you can hear it's a bit too hard it has too many the low frequencies but I will change that and the sub kick it's as I said it's like filtered or something it has just low frequencies and now uh, what you need to do first is to uh, make sure they are going to separate channels in the mixer I have the main kick on channel 1 and the sub kick to channel 2 and I will start uh, working with the main kick uh, as I said it has too many low frequencies so uh, you have to cut them so uh, what you can do is reduce here the low end but I prefer to use the the multiband compressor or you can also use the parametric uh, equalizer but I use the compressor almost always because it has it gives them uh, a little better effect a nice effect not just reducing the volume of that uh, frequency range um, if you don't know how this works, I don't have time now to explain you, but uh, you have three band. Basically, you have three bands here, the low, mid, and high band. And uh, the higher this meter goes, this one, uh, it means that uh, that frequency is reduced. Okay, so if it's going all the way up, that uh, the volume of that frequency is being reduced or it's, com uh, it's being compressed, okay? So, um, what I need to do here is to reduce the volume of the low band, to compress the low band, because this uh, second kick drum will act as a low, as a low uh, frequency kick, so I don't need them here on the first one. So I'm going to play this, and I will adjust the settings as it plays. Sorry, to reduce the threshold. As you can see, it's going all the way up. It's practically muted the, fr the low frequency uh, another reason uh, for using this uh, subtractor is that I have these controls here that allow me to, to change the, the sound sounds good anyways after I I will uh, work with the sub kick I will have to change some settings here to make it fit uh, but anyways let's go with the with the sub kick it's going on channel 2 and what you need to do now is add um, parametric equalizer because here we only need the the low frequencies so Select the this uh, preset called sub boost because it only it only uses the low frequencies, the low end of the frequency ranges. Okay, so and the f second effect that you need is the stereo enhancer. Okay, um, usually you never use this on kick drums because it sounds very very bad, but in this case it mm, this is an exception that makes it sound very good. Uh, we need to uh, expand the stereo okay so select this preset called stereo bass mm, it makes it sound like this and if I disable it okay that's what we want because uh, this effect will fill the sound very and give it very a lot of power and 
in, in the mix it, it really uh, feels the, the sound and makes it feel very warm and very nice and those low frequencies uh, combine very very well with the bass uh, you can probably change this to to the center depending okay now sounds better now what we need to do now is you can also reduce the frequencies from here the mid and high frequencies if you want uh, what we need to do here is um, to reduce the volume now of this second kick because it's way too loud we only want a subtle effect very low volume just to hear it a little bit so this is how it sounds now both and you say well where's the difference I don't hear any difference uh, watch, listen now when I disable the sub kick see it, it doesn't have that that power that uh, field sound okay increase the volume maybe a bit now it sounds very very good if I disable the low kick it sounds too dry and too I don't know this one sounds a, a lot better reduce a bit the volume and I insist inside the mic when you're when you have it in, uh, on your song with the rest of the sounds with the hi-hats and claps and stuff it sounds really really nice Okay, if I disable the compressor on the on the main kick you will you will hear how how bad it sounds well it's not that bad but it's too hard for me it's too hard I don't know if I change the settings here on the compressor maybe this is a better but remember to reduce the volume if I put it like that it's way way too hard just want a subtle effect very very low to hear that stereo effect well that's it it's very easy to do as you can see and I I repeat in in the mix it sounds a, way better with all the all the all the other sounds with the hi-hats and with the especially with the bass it sounds very good uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it was useful for any of you. Just try it if you you're, if you're not convinced. Just try it on your songs. Also depends on what kind of music you're making and what kind of music you like. But give it a try and you might like it. I don't know. Uh, this is this was the tutorial. Uh, see you on the next one.